Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading for those of you being ghosted or if they're pulling away from you, we are going to find out why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 15th of April, 2023. Time here in Genoa, Italy is 1.40 p.m. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Why were they being ghosted? and or why did a person pull away from them okay Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so there are a couple of possibilities here or a few. Just take what resonates with you. It feels like with the Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Hmm... See, the Knight of Wands is looking towards this way, the Four Sword here in reverse, while the Knight of Pentacles is looking towards the right. So it could be, and with the Five of Wands here, indicates some sort of a conflicted energy, feeling like, should I, should I not? Hmm. Unless, unless, if there is somebody else in the picture, sometimes can indicate competition, right? Five of Wands. So your person could have ghosted you or pulled away from you because either they're conflicted or that they have other options. The death here in my first ten of wands. Some of these other options could be someone from their past. Because the death in my first candy is someone wanting to revive this connection. Maybe this person's ex or someone they've known before is returning to them. Or has returned to them or tried to return to them. And they're keeping that to themselves, right? Four of Pentacles and with the Ace of Cups. Maybe. Maybe they're pulling away or may have ghosted because they are either renewing this connection with this person or thinking about possibilities of renewing this connection with this person that has ended. Because the death here is in reverse. So there was a connection, again, that may have ended, but... They could be revisiting this person or this person could be revisiting them okay ten of wands is not easy actually it's not easy for this person to ghost you or walk away from you it feels like they have been very restless for sortium of verse losing sleep at night thinking about what should they do right again very conflicted energy with the five of wands should they go back to this person from their past or should they move forward with you and be the knight of pentacles committing to you fully um, or take the relationship to the next level justice and the two of cups here hmm. i think they are faced with two different options situation it's like on one hand there's someone they're still kind of holding on to from their past, right? Four Pentacles right next to the Death here in first. That they still have feelings for with Ace of Cups. That it could be a bit tempting to go back to this person or when this person returns to them or has returned to them. They could either be considering being with this person, reconciling with this person, or have already reconciled with this person, okay? Maybe with the five of wands here, they had this drama, some altercation or arguments with their person, which could have caused like an ending or on its way to ending. It feels like it wasn't a permanent ending because the death here is in reverse, but it could have led to a permanent ending. Either your person is still like thinking about reconciling with their person from the past or that their person from their past is trying to reconcile with them. 
They could be pulling away also because or ghosting you because they're still, you know, holding on to that other connection, hoping that with the two of cups here that they both of them could be together again and the justice here finally, you know, seal the deal. Or that they could be pulling away ghosting because they know that that they have to choose. It's, it feels like that to choose someone from their past or to choose you, which again, they are conflicted about it. But let's see more. See, the king of wands, here is him up first. So your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Ace of Pentacles, the moon. So they're hiding secrets, right? There is someone else in the picture or other options. And I feel like most likely at least one of the options is someone from their past that they may be kind of holding back from telling you and keeping it a secret with a strength card. And the Five of Swords is them trying to be a little bit deceptive. The moon and the Five of Swords, yeah, can indicate deception. So there's something they're hiding from you that they're not telling you. And I feel like the secrets have something to do with other options, another person that they could be longing for and thinking about having this relationship with is someone from their past. I feel like there has been an ending between the two of them, but your person has always been hoping for a reconciliation with that person. And I'm so sorry to say that. And with the Ace of Pentacles, again, maybe they have a new start somewhere because there are two Aces, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. That means either they have two options, choose you and the other person, and they are confused right now. The moon can indicate confusion. So they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. So they could be ghosting you or pulling away in the meantime. But also it could be them keeping a secret in regards of having this new start with someone someone else, okay? Because the king of wands in reverse is somebody not very faithful, so and few cards that indicates them hiding something. So I don't see this person being completely honest with you. And you know, obviously, Five of Swords is the card where someone wants to win at all cost. Someone whom is selfish. They're just thinking for themselves right now, right? So I feel like your person could be ghosting you out of self selfishness, out of selfishness, because they want to be in control. The Emperor here of the situation, in control of themselves whatever they want that's what they're gonna do and it feels like you know the moon is like going cricket silence silent as well so they're holding back because they have something they're hiding again there's someone new here ace of cups or someone from their past that they're renewing this connection with I don't feel too good about this person, the way they're ghosting you, but they also have been thinking whether they should unghost you. Yeah, five of wands and the death here, my first. But they still don't know. They still don't know if they should unghost you or not. Because it feels like they want to see what how things are going to work out between them and somebody else here. And to me, to be honest, I feel like this is someone they've been with for a while. Maybe they were on a break. Maybe they were separated at one point in time and they are reconciling. So once they have reconciled, this is when they started to pull away and ghosting. Maybe because they have lied to you about something as well with the moon. Hmm. Let's pull out a few of these romance angels. See, this could be the one, so they could be ghosting or pulling away from you because they were, they feel like the other person is the one for them. And with you, with the flirt here, it's, it's almost like 
you know, sometimes the strength can indicate ego and the embryo ego possibly using you to feed their ego, especially if you flirt flirt back with them or if you're physically intimate with this person. See, this person is loving themselves first. They're not thinking about you as in this person is not thinking about <laughs> they're only thinking about themselves okay yep see let go of control issues so for some of you maybe they think that you are going to be control them you're going to be controlling them like you're controlling hmm. like you want to know you could be try asking a lot of questions that they don't know how to answer you as well because they've been hiding something. They're keeping secrets from you. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Chorus, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.